Well, if you have, uh, uh, at night time everything's dark, you have headlights, say, on your car, and if you shine the headlights onto something dark, of course you don't see it. You might think that if you shine your headlights on something light, like a, uh, someone wearing a white shirt, that uh, you'd see that. Well, it's OK, but if it's foggy, uh, it's rather hard to distinguish the white shirt from the white fog. So you don't see that at all well. You might think you could get a mirror and you could shine the light directly back out of the mirror. And of course, if you get a good reflection from the mirror, that's really bright. But the problem is, you only get a good reflection back from the mirror if the mirror is lined up perfectly. So the engineering challenge is to come up with a way of setting up mirrors so that they reflect back perfectly at you, no matter which direction the light is coming from. Well, you might have noticed if you go into a bathroom where there is a, a couple of mirrors on the wall uh, at right angles to each other, well, you might notice that the, uh, when they're exactly at right angles to each other, the light, uh, the reflection is directly back at, the, uh, uh, back at you, no matter which angle you're looking at. And that's really neat, because what's happening there is that the light comes in at some angle, reflects off one mirror, reflects off the other. And if you do the, the little bit of draw, draw this diagram on a page, it turns out that the light always turns around through a full 180 degrees, no matter which direction the light comes in at. So that has a great bonus. Then you, your headlights can shine into a pair of mirrors, and they'll come back in. The only problem is that works for the left and right. It doesn't work for up and down. So to solve that problem, we can have three mirrors forming the corners of a cube like this. And when we do that, but you magically get a reflection that will go directly back, back at you. The challenge then is to mass produce them so we can have millions of them along the roads, or to make them high precision so that we can use them for, say, surveying tasks where the distances are very long. The retro reflectors uh, the simplest and the most uh, reliable design is the, the, called the corner cube. Um, and suppose I wanted to do some surveying and measure the distance to some object uh, several kilometres away. Well, I might have a laser beam, shine it at that object, and I'd want to get a reflection. But if I use just an ordinary mirror to get a reflection, I'd have to line up that mirror terribly accurately. But actually, if I have a corner cube carefully made, then it reflects back perfectly all the time. Now I can demonstrate that. If you were to um, hold this torch and we'll put it right by the camera, if I take uh, a piece of paper, for instance, well, of course, you see it and it's white. If I take a mirror, then a little piece of mirror like this, it's, it appears black, except when it reflects perfectly into the camera. And then there's a big flash of light. But that I have to get that perfectly lined up. But if I take my corner cube, it doesn't matter how I hold this, it reflects back perfectly. Yeah, so the, uh, the retro reflectors on the road, well, there's one well-known design which are called cat's eyes, uh, and that's what we've got here. Uh, and they work by having essentially a combination of a, a, a mirror reflector and a lens in front uh, it's, the geometry is all worked out so that the light comes in, reflected off the mirror, comes out again, comes out parallel to itself. And this is, in fact, based on the, the, the way in which uh, a cat's eye actually works to reflect light at night. It's a wonderful piece of engineering design because when you drive over these cat's eyes, they squash. And it's like this little rubber eyelid that goes over the cat's eye and, and, and washes all the, the muck off from the road. There are other types of uh, retro reflector used on roads. For instance, uh, the ones that you'd see on the posts on the side of the roads, well, they don't need to be self-cleaning and they don't need to be particularly so robust. You're not going to drive over them. So they're just um, pressed out of plastic with uh, corner cube type patterns on them, uh, pressed onto the back of them. Uh, and you can, you, you essentially the same type of principle as we have for a, um, for a bicycle reflector, exactly the same kind of thing.